Welcome to Design Fusion YouTube video channel. In this video, we will see the different ways of defining spot veil in SimCenter 3D or in NX. Here you can see I have two different plates and they are connected together using a spot veil. So here total I have six spot veil which can be seen in magenta color. As I expand my polygon geometry, I have different geometry for plates and my spot wheel jump, uh, area. I have defined spot wheel to this 3D geometry by defining a glue coincide mass mating condition uh, and connect the spot wheel to the plate. Once I did that, I have meshed this model using a hex mesh and applied a steel load material. Once my FEM model is ready, I can right away go to, to the, my simulation environment where I have applied a fixed constraint to the polygon edges of green plate and applied uh, 3 kN of upward force at the end of one face of this yellow plate and apply surface to surface contact. And for this problem we are going to run linear static analysis and we will solve it later on. As we know that most of the analyst and engineer use a mid surface to solve this kind of spot wheel problem. So we will see how you can define the spot wheel and if you have mid surfaces. So here you can see that I already mesh this uh, mid surfaces and apply the local mass density on the spot wheel and surround area of that so I can get good quality mass. So under the 1D connection you can right away launch a spot wheel dialog box or command where you just need to select the point or age, age you have and you need to select the top and bottom faces. So I have total six uh, spot wheels so I, I will tell the software that on that curve I need six point at equal distance and will connect top and bottom faces using a C beam type of element. You can use different type of element as per your requirement. After updating the mesh, software created a beam element and joined top and bottom faces of spot weld. So as I expand my 1D mesh collector, beam collector is created and let's review the physical property of beam element. As I already created it, I have applied uh, or created circular cross section having a radius of 70.5 millimeter and applied a steel load material to my 1D beam element. Next, uh, I need to make sure that the center nose is connected to the node available on the circular edges of my faces of spot wheel. So I can use 1D connection where I filter, set the filter to node to node and in a source I will select the mid node of this spot wheel faces and next on the target I need to select the point lies on the circular edges. So using a smart selector method you can very easily select all the node available on that polygon edge and create a RBE tree type of spider element. Same way I need to create a spider connection for bottom spot well faces as well. So I will follow the same step and uh, here, uh, same way that sele uh, Smart Selector will make your life easier, you can select uh, the node as per your requirement and create a 1D connection faster. And here uh, you can see that using Darby tree and beam element, I have created a spot wheel and make sure that thickness is applied to my mid surfaces. Everything looks good. Uh, I move to the simulation environment where I have applied the same uh, simulation objects, boundary condition like constraint. I have fixed this uh, green plate by using a two polygon edges and 
apply the 3 kN of force in upward direction at the end of this yellow plate. And here uh, we will see the third method which is very easy and faster to create a spot field. So universal connection has a spot field connection wizard. You can right away launch it and select that flange 1 and flange 2 the, the flange which you would like to connect to each other and uh, I will define my spot wheel location the same way by selecting the curve and, and, and defining the number of point on that. So I have defined a six point. Then after uh, you have to make sure that in tolerance you select or apply the tolerance so the software can find in uh, the required node and connect those node uh, to each other. So I have set those tolerance parameter and also defined some physical property of my spout well such as diameter and height. And here you can see that I have uh, a real-time preview of created uh, spot well definition. So automatic connection will help you to realize what kind of connection you need. We are going to use a C hex plus RBE3 type of element connections. Here you can see that software created a hex element and, and connect those hex elements using RBE3 type of element to the spot well faces. And I have applied the same load and boundary condition as uh, other simulations. So uh, I have already solved the simulation for all three cases and we will put those simulation files side by side and analyze the displacement result. So let's review the displacement result of uh, first case where we use 3D geometry and it is about uh, 6.25 millimeter of maximum displacement is happening. Let's review it in the second case where we use uh, RBE3 plus CBM element and it is almost same. The displacement profile is almost same as case 1 and in case 3 it is same uh, to other two cases where we use uh, hex plus RBE3 type of element to define the spot well. So this way in seam center 3D you can very easily define the spot well connection as per your requirement. For more video please like and subscribe our YouTube video channel. Thank you.